Hello, everybody. This is Briefcase again with, uh, now we're going Pain Gaming versus Team Team Dignitas in this, uh, was the next two games in the Premier League that I'm trying to catch up on. Uh, I'm not really sure what was happening, but this is the screen that I came into as far as the replay was concerned. So, uh, as soon as that timer hits, all of their team gets selected, and actually I could see who they had beforehand anyway. So everything went really weird, I have no idea why it happened, but, uh... There you have it. Doesn't really matter anymore anyways. So who do we have? We have Pada playing Life Stealer. We have Grint. Grint playing Rubik. Ooh, that is a nice, nice outfit on Rubik, I must say. We got Standin Yuka is Magnus. Billy is Chen. And Klotz is Lone Druid. Sweet boar right there. Up top, though, for Team Dignitas, we got A. Aoi? Owie 20,000, Owie 2000, I'm going to call him Owie. Owie, we have Tides. Yeah, we got Tides right there. Fogged, uh, Fogged as Puck, Tide as Wisp, Owie as CK. Way too sexy is Bane, and Universe is Weaver with a lot of extra stuff on him. Jeez Louise. Um, uh, so, interesting... 30 seconds it was kind of I was just trying to make sure doing a little bit of pre-game research just to see if uh, if all of the the players on the team were actually on the site and and if you know I knew who they were and that sort of thing and I think it was team yeah it's definitely team where are you God if I is definitely pain gaming yeah, it was definitely pain, and I think it was in Portuguese, and I was just like, it was a bit tough to figure out, and their Steam and Dota profile names had changed in the replay, so I really didn't know what was going on, but I don't know. Was, either way, though, it looks like pain has got a couple of stand-ins, whereas Dignitas is rolling an entire, entire group. So they know the bear's top, maybe just trying to harass it a little bit, get its health down just a little bit anyways. Um... Pain seems to be avoiding going top. Really scared of that tri lane, uh, especially with Bane there. Um, it's just a killer, killer tri lane. Fogged, uh, hanging out mid. You got Puck mid versus Magnus. Magnus, of course, going that early bottle. Puck foregoing it for a mantle of intelligence, maybe doing a little bit more damage, having a little bit more mana to harass as well. Universe is downtown with. A Rubik and Lone Druid hanging out. The bear's up top, just, I'm not even sure what. He can't attack. Uh, he's not within range of the Lone Druid. I guess he's just there to tank and see what's going on and make sure that Life Stealer never, ever dies, that Pata never dies. Universe running around, has Sakuchi, can obviously get away. There are sentries down uh, already, though, for pain, and th that might prove a little bit of an issue for uh, Universe as far as telekinesis is concerned. Um... <laughs> Magnus having his bottle, making his way in now. They realize just how scary Dignitas's tri lane top is, and they got the Wisp CK combo, which I'm sure they'll be running uh, almost all the time and really trying to pick people off, though. Uh, Universe being really denied here, having to use up his tangles already, is getting absolutely no farm. Chen, of course, is very scary in the jungle, stacking pretty much. Well, stacking one of the main camps already has a wildkin, using it to scout out that rune that'll be coming. But CK, all the while, having all day to farm as much as he want. Aoi, 2000, doing fine, just fine. Wisp, looks like he's pulling. He's stacking for CK, really wanting to get up there. Stannon has finally got his bottle, but... Looks like Chen going for a deny on that rune, and he sees Weaver comes in. Weaver comes in, gets it. Chen getting that wildkin, using it to farm those creeps right there. Universe is hopefully going to suck up a little bit of gold, I think. Or no, not gold. A little bit of experience. I'm not sure if that's the way it works. I think it is, though. Oh, it... No. Does not actually gain anything from Stan here. He's just... Maybe a little bit of a misplay. Maybe he doesn't know, but... He's not gaining anything by standing here right now. Could try to get the last hit on this, doesn't matter. Is in fact, ooh, Sakuchi's them all down. Gets the big creeps in there and stops stops Billy from really getting level three right then. Pretty big, actually. Bear still being used to scout up top. Uh, Pata has nowhere to go. He's not really sure what he's supposed to do. Stand in clots with pain right there with, uh, with Grint. Yeah, I'm just going to call him Grint, I think. Klutz farming fine. I think he missed that hit, though. 
Misses that one as well. Not doing the most amazing. 14 last hit. CK will have more. 20. And Pata, a, a very low 5. Ooh, cancelled right away. Reality Ref realizing that he's got no support with him. Bane's far away. Wisp is just pulling as much as he wants to his heart's content. The bear, of course, scouting again. Never scared to scout. Can always teleport back. Is not a concern. Clots all the while. Can as much farm as he possibly wants. Universe harassing whatever he can. He knows he's slightly out of sentry range. Not that it would matter, though. An another sentry can simply be plopped down. Fogged, of course, finally has his bottle. Not wasn't that big a deal though, uh, and has Puck has much much more rune control than uh, Magnus does. But in the same breath, they have Chen. They have a much more dominant bot at the moment, and so Fogged will really really need to be all over those runes, especially if it is top. They've got a much better positioning top as far as runes are concerned, but it is bottom once again. And Puck could try to go for it, but it looks like Weaver's going to make sure that. Dignitas gets the rune this time around. CK being babysat very well by Bane. Bane getting all the levels he needs to be become really, really effective. Brain Sap actually has a level. Where is it spent, though? Because, I mean, he's got his knife. There it is. There's that enfeeble level one. Puck bottle crowing effectively. Magnus doing the exact same. There you go, Yuka. Send that bottle boar back home. And picking up a dust, not a dust, a smoke. There we go. Pain really, really denying Dignitas Universe getting uh, getting from any getting experience or farm at the moment. In fact, this dual bot is actually out leveling the solo. Not not great. Uh, not a great start for Universe. In that same breath, though, Pada is having a really, really rough time. Pa Fog just took out Magnus. Yuka, I believe. Ooh, is that a golden Roshan? It is. Looking looking good. I'm sure still level 1. Wisp hasn't gained a single point of experience. He doesn't care. He doesn't need it. He has his level 1 <laughs> level one tether. That's all he wants. Chen hanging out mid. Doing much, much better. If I go to the experience graph, you'll see that the dot... Really? I thought for sure that the Radiant were going to be winning this one. I suppose CK and Bane are the ones really, really getting as much experience as they possibly need. Not to mention the fact that Puck just killed, just killed Yuka. Fog just killed Yuka is going to really, really bump that up. But I mean, a zero level or a one level Wisp, only 31 experience on him. And level four Weaver is actually smaller and has less experience than the dual lane bot. It's going to be... I mean, Weaver's not getting the farm that he really, really needs. Only it is it is only five minutes into it. Making sure she can't get that rune. Wisp up top to get the double damage if he needs it in case Magnus is going to get there before Fogged. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Of course, CK having f absolute free farm top. Just trying to kill that. 100 gold is the bounty on that bear. Um, seems like he probably didn't need to waste that and give it to CK. I mean, he's already got free farm. He's already got Hand of Midas, no less. He knows that he's got all the time in the world to snowball until exactly what his team needs 46 last hits already foggy doing pretty good mid 32 and at the same time universe doing a, has a pitifully small nine what a shame is not getting the the money he so sorely needs 10 by lifesteal of course some of those being big i assume if we look at gold per minute, though, CK is going to be huge. Puck with that kill obviously bumped him up. But then Lone Druid is actually farming pretty effectively bought. He's got his bear with him now. He's really stopping to make sure that he gets those hits. And beyond that, though, yeah, there's Weaver having a very hard time. Uh, not to mention Bane not doing very well. Rubik, of course, being supporting. And Wisp also supporting. Meaning, if they have the same, that tells me they've both got absolutely zero last hits each. And let's put that to the test. We got, oh, one last hit on Wisp. My bad. So sorry, everybody. And Rubik, there we go. One last hit as well. Universe running in. Seeing if he can't get a little bit of damage just to stall this tower push. Going to be very hard, though, with the amount of health coming at it, though, with Centaur and Satyr Mind Stealer and the Bear and the Creeps. Going to be very, very hard to stop this from falling. Uh, a Reinforce will just stall it. It's not going to be able to do anything at all. Grant just hanging out bottom, seeing if he making sure that Universe is getting nowhere within tower range to deny it as well. Yuka head into the rune, seeing if he can't pick it up. Really, really wants it to be there. He's hoping beyond all hope 
How's he get it? Gets gets the invisibility. Fogged is a little bit out of position. Misses though. Yuka misses with the shockwave. Can't really get him. Wisp finally getting a few levels. Fog, yeah, Fog knows that he needs a few levels. Needs to be very careful though. Two hits from Magnus will be all it takes to kill him. A single skewer, reverse polarity combo is that's enough. Wisp has no no levels right now, no no experience, and no stats. Bottom, getting really, really heavily pushed. There's that huge amount of health coming at it. Centaur Cursor, yeah, the Centaur's there. He's got 1,300 tops. So does the Sat here, and so does the Bear. 2,300, no less. And Chen, almost level... Uh, almost level 6 now, almost has his ult. We'll make the creeps all that more impenetrable to kill. Holy Persuasion, making them bigger anyways. Almost has it level 4, going for the army Chen as you normally would stand in. Looks like you use that invisibility room. A really nice reverse polarity could be the difference in this universe. Having to use his ult, and he knows it. Stand in knows it. Ooh. Weird pause by, by Klotz at the moment. That's a really good lone druid portrait, I must say. Um, weird pause. Looks like there's some technical difficulties. One thing I like about when that is pausing and rubik's in the game is his cloak just goes absolutely nuts, and it's always, always enjoyable. Um, with that pause, of course, stand in. You will know exactly what he wants to do, and let's see if he skewers him in. Reverse polarity. Can they even see him? They might, and it doesn't matter. He falls so quickly. Fog is there, can send in an illusory orb, but it's not going to be enough to do anything. Using the drums already, that must be on... Where are you, Magnus? No. Oh, wait, that wasn't drums. That was a buckler armor bonus. My bad. Bottom tower will fall again. Huge gold advantage, I think, right now for the Radiance. Having two towers already. Um, not too many more kills but having enough, and now Fog looks like he's going to fall. Oh, barely gets away. Universe ports in, seeing if he can't get Grant, but I don't know if there's going to be enough damage. It falls just in the nick of time. Yuka also getting caught out by Wisp, who also ported in, or not Wisp, by CK, who also ported in. Dignitas coming back now, really going all they can. Oh, no, gets rooted by the bear. Doesn't have enough mana to reality rift away. Bear's still going there. Seeing we can't pick up the easy, easy 100 gold, but he doesn't get hit in a couple seconds, and he gets a port away. At the same time, Universe running in there and getting the gold he so sorely needs and wants by picking up that kill on Chen. That's got to feel really, really good for Team Dignitas. Um, CK was doing terrific top. Aoi 2000 was doing great top, but most other... I guess, you know what? Mid was doing great, too. I was just... It's kind of the reverse of each thing. Top was doing great for Dire, for Dignitas. Bottom was doing really, really good for Pain. Uh, Grant, of course, doing not too bad. Excuse me, while I take a sip of delicious water. Mm. I don't want the same thing happening to me last time. Casting three games in a row, my throat got a little bit sore. Didn't have any water on standby, my word. It was a bit... Uh, is a bit rough. Wisp, almost level 6, getting hit by that shockwave, can't get out of the way fast enough, has a bottle, who does have a bottle? You got Wisp with a bottle, Fogged with a bottle, Universe, you don't have one, CK, no, you don't have one either, Owie. Bane shouldn't as well, I, I don't think. Mag, of course, does, uh, would find it really weird if Pada did as well. Stand in, maybe not so much. And by name Stand in, I probably mean Klotz. And Billy uh, doesn't as well. Has a smoke though. Might be willing to use it to get a couple, couple of kills, but no, but there's no good position to do it right now. I think everybody just trying to give enough experience to, to Tide at the moment, making sure that he can get that relocate. And with that, a whole new thing, a whole new breadth of opportunities will arise with Aoi and him. Um, Although not at the moment, it won't be too too big at the moment because all the ta all uh, all of Payne's towers are still in game, making it quite a bit more difficult to use that relocate to a huge effect. The Pearson has to be, or uh, Payne would have to be pushing one of their towers, or I guess pushing this bottom lane up even more. Not that that'll probably happen for quite a while, despite Payne's really really strong pushing team. Some fun going in. Fog having his blink dagger, sending in an illusory orb. Everyone porting mid, just seeing if they can't get away. Getting a little bit of a, a flute going on there. Not sure why that happened. Billy looks like he's almost caught out. Fog is there if he needs to. Has alt ready in the wings. All the while, Owie still farming top. Already has treads. Has Midas. Has a full magic wand. 
is a little bit scared of the bear who, I mean, sure, that makes sense. A single root is, is pretty devastating, but I wouldn't be too concerned if I was uh, Owie. He can always get away, more likely than not, unless there is some sort of, you know, root spam on the bear. But uh, I doubt that that will happen. Billy using up that buckler right then. Uh, it's probably bottle crowing just then. Uh, Yuka, I assume. Oh, in goes. Maybe caught out a little bit. Didn't get Magnus with the, with the silence. Doesn't matter though. Gets away. Ports in with Wisp. Uh, will Owie get Billy? Billy will fall. Wisp and... Wisp and Owie still hanging out, doing their thing. Magnus getting caught out. Doesn't have enough. Did use reverse polarity, but it wasn't enough. At the same time, Hada getting caught out. Sakuchiing in. He knows that he's there. He's not going to be able to get away. Maybe he can. He is very, very very fast right now and oh but they do have vision it doesn't matter though he can't get to him all the while universe running bots even if he can't cut him off with a single geminate attack a single sakuchi will do it he knows that though he's gonna keep running can't stun in time and Owie will get hit by the tower just a little bit while rubik runs home with a stolen sakuchi Everybody port and top. Wisp trying to set him up, set himself up so he can stun him. Misses the stun on the actual bear hero. Owie's hanging out. Bane will be there though. Is fast enough. We'll silence him now. And that with the mana. Only a two second stun. Doesn't matter though. It will be enough. And stand and clots will fall. What a sad, sad day. And with that, I think, I think, and suspect the experience and gold will be going even more in Team Dignitas' favor. And, ooh, not as much gold I sus as I suspected. It's probably going from gold per minute. I bet, yeah, the bear is quite, quite high. Um, and how about net worth? S ooh, CK is having a really, really banner day today, though. Overall, with Team Dignitas being, having just higher in general wealth. Universe running in, see if he can't do some damage. A oh, sentry ward is down, though. Didn't know it. Get screwed. Is going to fall. Oh, never, never, never. Think that a sentry ward Dyer's isn't there. Always down. assume that there's detection. It's the safest way to play. Um, and yeah, with that, way too sexy hanging around. Bane is just ready. In goes Puck. Gets off a silence. Can't get the Magnus with it though. Does he have reverse polarity? It's all. It's on cooldown. Four seconds left. We'll fall before he can get it. That's gonna be the difference between this team fight. Owie getting rooted. And oh, what a shame. In runs in. Pada. And with that. With that, Dignitas tied, taken way too sexy home just to make sure that he doesn't die. Being a little bit more safe. Owie now, though, has armlet. Some good armlet toggling could be the difference. Um, not the hugest amount of burst damage on the other team. Fade, sure. Shockwave a little. Maybe in fast. Chen has one nuke on him. But beyond that, I am not too, too concerned. And test of faith is pretty variable damage. It's not super loyal. Is pure though, however. Oh no, Magnus getting caught out again. Stand in, Yuka. Are you standing in or are you falling over? Oh. <laughs> uh. Yuka getting caught out again. Uh, not having a very good time as Mag, I must say. But now the CK, CK Wisp combo is having just a very good time Radiant's it looks like Klotz is out of position attack. has a scroll of town portal but here comes CK here comes Aoi he's got all the damage three seconds done he's gonna fall can't get away completely out of position there at the same time Pada's running up seeing if he can't help he just can't get there in time at the same time universe and way too sexy taking the bottom tower and with that team Dignitas is gonna take a much bigger gold lead than they had before and at the same breath their experience is just heading way, way up there. And that is those few kills where the entire team was around there. Pada farming the Ancients, seeing if he can't get a little bit of money. He's not particularly high as well. There we go. We got Yuka using a... Oh, doesn't seem like it was super useful, but Grant had stolen Fiend's Grip. He's not going to be able to do anything. Does They, they don't even want to give him the option of using Brain Sap just to, just to stay around for a second. Top will fall, though. Owie using his ult. No ports are coming in. They're not going to be able to stop this or deny it. Porting in bot, or porting in on the tier 2 tower as bear, but he's way late and it's just going to fall. Yuka, looks like she might be having Yuka he, she? Hard to say. I want to say a girl name, but Yuka having some technical difficulties, maybe, or at the very least, maybe Payne's having some te technical difficulties at the moment. Just pause in for a second. So in the meantime... Let's look at this 
really handsome, really handsome Rubik costume. It's looking, it's looking good. Clots hanging out. Bear, what is the bear? We have Mithril Hammer already, Phase Boots, Gloves of Haste, and a Mithril. Probably going, I think, in, in general bear fashion. Uh, Mjolnir or, or oh, Maelstrom. There we go. That's, that's the precursor to Mjolnir. Universe running around. Going Orchid. Uh, see this a lot on Weaver. Is pretty strong. Gives them a good ganking potential. Although, incredibly, Weaver has such a small amount of health. I've also seen... I'd like to see maybe more more protection on it, but at the same breath, um, if you just assume they don't have protection and, and you know they don't and you're counter warding and all that sort of stuff, uh, you can be pretty, pretty safe. Way too sexy inquiring there. What's the problem? What's going to happen? Why are we paused? Why is this taking so long? Um, yeah, it's always a shame when you have to pause in a, in a tournament game. It gets people out of the rhythms a little bit and... Usually, I at least hope that there's a good reason, connectivity reason, or something along those lines. Uh, fogged, maybe. I don't think that he can wait to see in... He said he needed 30 seconds. Uh, unhappy face, what a shame. Fogged, though, looking like in good position. Was fade bolted, doesn't matter, though. Um, there you go, now you can go. Uh, I don't believe... Is this tower in deny range? I don't know what... I can't remember exactly what it is. I want to say it's not. It needs a little bit more damage. Maybe would have been good to Radiant's let those creeps just get it down there and see if you couldn't get it all the way, all the way killed. But oh well, that's that is fine. Clots farming as Lone Druid as Lone Druid does very, very effectively. Grant getting all the wards he needs. Of course, everything going very well. I would I would have assumed that Wisp and Wisp and Owie would have been comboing and teaming up quite a bit more but I have not seen too too many relocates I think we're only two relocates in I suppose though that that was brought upon by Wisp being not having any farm and pretty much not you know not being even level six until roughly eight minutes or something like that ten minutes I'm not sure but Owie and Tide will probably sync up right now. He's got haste. He can be all over him. Has a soul ring. Now he's got a little bit more money. They've given him the farm that he needs to really be the backbone of Owie right now. Mid tower falls. Chen took it down with his army. Absolute army of creeps right now. Fogged is there, but can't really do too much. Um, in the same breath, though, way too sexy. Hanging out bot. Universe is there. He knows that Yuka's there as well. Uh, although, and the entirety, the entirety of Pain is not coming this way. Putting down some wards, just making sure that things are going around. Pain going up top, seeing if they can't get this Owie in the same breath. They have no way. A levitate falls down. Tide is there. If he can always relocate away, if things get a little too hairy, sacrifice himself, or at least get his entire team trying to run there and maybe stall it out a little bit. Universe and way too sexy. Going to be pushing the tower bot. Uh, I don't think it'll fall. We got Radiance we got Grant tower. coming in, attack. trying to stall it a little bit. Although he's is a little bit, he's a little bit weak right now. I mean, he's hurt. He's got no mana. These two alone could probably get him. Fiend's grip is off cooldown, but a brain sap and Sakuchi and nightmare will get him in position to make it quite quite hard. Owie hanging out, getting a big crit right there on that creep. Farming incredibly well. 116 last hits. 88 on the bear. Everybody going on him now. If things get a little hairy, if if this pata gets off an open wound, there it is. Armlet Talga uses alt. Make sure makes him gonna try to regret coming in. The bear being caught out just a little bit. That stun being disjointed by rage at that last second there. The bear hanging in. Wisp comes in, realizes that yeah, we want to go for it. Reality rift not being used, being cancelled at the last second as well. Being very very scary. Really pushing and using these clones to good effect and the top tower is gonna be not denied not not uh, not killed but defended by these creeps owie running in trying to kill Billy ooh three seconds done that will be enough get stunned by wisp as well almost doesn't want them quite to port in the bear is coming the wisp is falling down gets levitated wants to port away can't get it in time owie running for his life at the moment, but nobody is fast enough to catch him, and you don't have Pata with you, using those phase boots to get that little bit of increased speed. Way too sexy running through the forest, 
all and pretty much against anybody as long as they're a single person. He's completely safe uh, from them as well. Can enfeeble somebody down so they do almost nothing. Uh, can nightmare somebody. Pata, just being silenced, making sure that no funny business goes on. Can't can't open wounds anybody. All the while, Owie and Tide just farming top as much as they want. Almost, almost has a reaver already. Uh, would like to see if he if he goes straight and buys it right away, as it can be a pretty big item. Um, just reaver alone, that huge amount of ex or not experience, the huge amount of health it gives him. Not to mention uh, almost having a heart and and uh, and damage. It gives you quite a bit of health and damage. Looks like he's gonna go straight for it. Sells his magic wand, gets the reaver. Does not care about buyback or reliable gold whatsoever. Um, all the while. The other ones of Team Dignitas hanging out, trying to take down Roshan with what limited health pools they have. Uh, might be able to do it though. Does not look like they can. Way too sexy. Does not have the health pool. None of them have it. Universe can barely take a hit. Of course, Orchid making them do more damage to him, but overall, they realize they can't do it. Thought maybe they could. Not quite. They absolutely need Owie there to help. All the while, Tide farming the camps as best as he can. Hopefully trying to... Looks like he'd be going heart uh, as well. And essentially, if he is tethered to Owie at the same time, if Tide is tethered to Owie at the same time, they both have a heart. It's pretty much having two hearts on. And that's a little bit insane as far as actual health regen goes. Invisible Fog just checking out, seeing what's going on. Uh, looks like... No, he didn't stack the camp. Pata didn't stack the camp, was just killing them all. Maybe got a little bit scared. Billy hanging around. His army is not as stunny as I thought it would be. Has an ensnare troll. Um, also has these hell bears. No, they're fur bogs. Good, for, you know, very good for farming. Does a little bit of damage with thunderclaps, but not too, too much overall. CK and Wisp hanging out top, seeing if they can't just hurt this bear a little bit, maybe stop him from being so useful. This three second stun, but overall it's not enough because the bear's health pool is just massive. Bear now with Maelstrom having an easier time to farm, still not nearly as big of net worth as Owie at the moment. And the top three spots taken by Team Dignitas with only their supports. Bane slightly support and Wisp full support, I would think, with only their supports being uh, still above their respective counterparts. Big reverse polarity hits Aoi. He can't get away. Big stun on him. Uses reality rift. Doesn't matter though. Tyner being levitated. I'm sorry I missed the beginning of that fight, but it ended anyways. Fogged, blinking away, using that illusory orb to, to just hurt everybody just a little bit. Did could not make it in time. All the while. Bane and Universe pushing mid, seeing if they can't get a little bit more portation room for C for Aoi and, and oh man, was and Tide. Boom, remembered. Pata being there using using phase shift and blink to get away. Everybody porting in. They want to deny this. Doesn't look like they can or remember to. Going for the kills more so than anything. All the while, Universe silencing Billy. Looks like Billy's gonna get away. Can't quite get it. Weaver gets the last hit, all the while Klotz being slow, being nightmared, I should say. Fog is there. They don't have the damage that they really, really need to take care of the bear, but Universe is there, has has Orchid if and when they need it. <clears throat> and both of Chen's creeps will fall as well for some nice more gold for Weaver. Uh, get an ultimate orb, probably going to be going Lincoln's, very good item on Weaver, makes him really really tough to kill with time lapse as well as lincoln's he can shirk off quite a few stuns quite a few spells and makes him far more resilient um chaos knight now with his heart hidden on a magnus yuka just constantly being caught out can never get away is incredibly incredibly sad oh you should know by now you can't go out alone not against this lineup team dignitas really really benefiting from that small amount of undersight it's not oversight, it's the opposite. I'm gonna call it undersight. Owie pushing bot, attack. split pushing at the moment. Owie is full, full damage, almost has ult. Doesn't matter though, the, here comes the bear being a little bit annoying. Stunning bear, just seeing if he can't get away. Uh, looks like he won't have a problem too as well. Way too sexy, hanging out. 
everybody's just hanging out mid, seeing if they can't do it. And now Al will probably go in for some farm, a little bit of farm in their own jungle. And I wouldn't be too surprised if Team Dignitas went in for a Roshan at the moment. I mean, Owie's got a spot open for it. It isn't too, too hard. Um, all the while, uh, Pain is pushed in pretty good on most lanes. Uh, and they don't want to go out alone. Not to mention that Dignitas has very good vision of Roshan, very good vision of what's going on, um, and where everybody is. I wouldn't think it'd be too, too bad if they went, uh, Roshan, but alas, we'll see. Owie hanging out bot, just pushing it, making sure it's pushed in. At the moment. Grant, everybody just doing what they can to stop it. Lone Druid has just got Armlet Morgan. So has Life Stealer. So two more Armlets going up now. Putting Armlet on Bear. No fooling. He doesn't even get the plus strength. I guess he can, in a time of crisis, can pass it over to Klotz. And then that small amount of, uh, or not small, that quite a substantial amount of strength will pass to him and give him that extra little bit of survivability if and when he's ever getting ganked and needs it really badly. Kind of a weird pickup, I say. I haven't seen that before, uh, but I guess only time will tell, and we'll see how it does. CK going in. He thinks he can do it. He doesn't have life still. He has heart. Uh, it doesn't really work the same way, but here comes Wisp. Has the regen. Can always soul ring and give him that amount of mana if and when he needs it. Giving him... What is this called? Overcharge the ability. But I'm going to go back to this team fight. All the while, pain. Really, really wrecking... Dignitas's face. They, they, they really need uh, CK and Wisp there to do anything. Bane can't do it, and Pata's getting just big enough now to be a kind of a threat. All the while, Bear, the Lone Druid, Lone Druid's Bear is, is scarier than any of their other heroes. Roshan falls. There we go. It's what I hoped for. Ooh, getting Sage. Probably going Heaven's Halberd. Very good survivability with that evasion heart. Uh, not to mention the extra strength that it will give him 25 more. It's almost like a Reaver. I think I think a Reaver is 25, isn't it? I want to say. Either way, more strength, more health. They're really just trying to go for almost survivability with Chaos Knight, but at the same breath, he's getting a huge amount of just stat damage, and that's fine, just fine. As long as he lives uh, and it tides with him, I mean, he'll probably be fine no matter what, especially with his mechanism now. Uh, what is that, 250, 250? So he gets... What is that, 500, I think, because of the tether? And because it gets 1. Point, oh, 1.5 times the amount. No, not 2. So he's be getting, what, 250? You got 250 plus 250 plus 120. He's getting like 700 health heal right there just for mechanism alone. Um, so pretty substantial if, if he ever needs to do it in a clinch. Universe, hang out. Has Manta style. Uh, not Lincoln's. I thought he'd be going Lincoln's, but I guess he wanted to be more damage, maybe a little bit more utility. Um, Lincoln's, of course, very, very good at stopping it, but Manta, very good as well in its own way. Can debuff things, can debuff Pata if, uh, Pata's open wounds, if and when that ever comes to it. I suppose makes Telekinesis a little bit harder for Rubik to do his thing. Fiend's Grip on the bear. Uh, Fiend's Grip gets stolen. Let's see if that gets used in any good way at all. All the while, Owie and... Tide are just hanging out top, trying to split push a little bit, be a little bit annoying, force them to go top to save that tier three, but they're going mid now, and they're just gonna tank this down and take it all the way down. Thus, thus making Team Pain just having to stay back. They can't leave. If they go out solo, Owie and Tide will take them down. It's a guaranteed kill pretty much for any single one of these heroes solo. Um, just making them stay within. They have no vision. They can't see a damn thing that's going on. Uh, Pain Gaming having a really, really hard time here. All the while, I'm sure that experience is just massively, as well as gold, oh, 14,000. That's the highest I've ever actually seen it swing. Um, just massively, massively in Team Dignitas' favor. Of course, nothing, nothing is set in stone at the moment. Uh, one huge reverse polarity could be the difference, as nobody actually has substantial life and an ability to live other than Aoi. Um, ooh, actually went Sange and Yasha. I guess he wanted the movement speed, where when he is coupled with Wisp, gives him 501, almost, almost fully. Oh, Pat is getting caught out. Looks like he's gonna, yeah. 
does not have a stun handy. There's no Abyssal Blade. There's no Basher on this one. Um, I think Pata knew that and just wanted to push this out as much as he could, trying to see if they can't, if I couldn't give Pain Gaming a little bit more vision. All the while, Grint just hanging out. The bear is there, doesn't have Radiance, so is still close enough to attack them. Oh, is he going to get a kill on Way Too Sexy? One Brain Sap gets him back in, nightmares the bear, making sure that he doesn't fall to some jerky little bear. Clone Druid going pure survivability, getting the cloak, does not want to get killed and make his bear disappear. The hero who he just charges and just calls upon all the while. The bear just has seems to have massive regen. Armlet of Armlet is just constantly on. Does the bear always have that much regen? This is obscene. Odd that the bear can always have armlet on. Has a massive attack speed. Universe can always scoot you away. There's nobody there for it. Of course, all the while. Owie and Tide are pushing bot, or at least can if they want. Doesn't matter though. Nobody wants to pour in. Um, very, very scared. Is an opportunity now for Owie and Tide to port in and kill the bear, but uh, he's going home. Yuka could be caught out again. They know he's there, and they don't. I, I don't know if anybody's. If, oh, they see. They see Pata isn't going to be able to teleport away this time. Dignitas is not with his other Dignitas buddy. We got, we still got Tied there, not with Aoi. Aoi just getting enough gold. I'm sure, can he even buy back yet? Ooh, it's mostly unreliable. I would be amazed if he could. Says he can, so I'll take that. Says he can, because says he can buy back. But I have known that thing to be a little finicky and a little bit wrong. Um, right now, just the huge gold discrepancy and the massive experience discrepancy doing you know, very, very, making it very, very hard for Pain Gaming to come back from this one. All the while, looks like they want to get that Wisp of Heart, give them a little bit more survivability, make this the dream team right there. Bane not being caught out at all, still has a Blink Dagger if he ever gets into a sticky situation. Could be a little bit scared. Uh, Magnus also with a Blink Dagger, a Blink Skew Reverse Polarity could be the end of him. That's a lot to waste on him. But like I said, the game's never over. Until until the throne is killed, because one big reverse polarity against this team. You combine that with a possibly good stolen ult, and and this could be the difference. Seeing if they can't kill the bear, only a two second stun might not be enough to get it. Looks like it's gonna be able to run away very quick. Bear almost has max move speed, 514 when it has phase boots. Um, armlet does not make you move faster, I don't believe. No, it doesn't. So I had no idea that the bear was so quick. Oh, of course, has rabid, 20% movement speed. Makes him hugely scary. Split pushing now. We have way too sexy top as well as universe top. Well, all the while, Owie is bought pushing this tower. Has not used a, has not used ult yet. Needs can if he ever ever needs to. Silencing the bear, or not silencing, nightmaring the bear. Seeing if he can't just keep him from doing anything. All the while now, Owie really taking some hits, killing killing this tower. Gets telekinesis in the last second. Reverse polarity though. Doesn't matter, has all the mana and all the health in the world. Dignitas just hanging out, doing pretty, pretty good, using his ult there. Now all three of these illusions trying to take this down. Doesn't look like they can, though. Looks like it'll be stalled. What's it? Oh, two last hits by those two illusions were able to take that melee rax. And that'll start pushing this out. All the while, universe and way too sexy top. And now with this split push, there's just too many of them. And the, the two combos are too strong. Owie killing, killing the strong bear. The little bear's hanging back. Reality Rift puts him in the wrong direction. And now it looks like this bear. Oh, he can summon him again, but there's nobody around to really help him. Inports a really big ult from Fog right now. And down falls Billy. Chen can only do so much. Telekinesis on Owie. Still, he's getting low. There is no reverse polarity. Three seconds stun on him, though. Stolen by Granted. And with that, uh, he finally falls, but it doesn't matter. Wisp will port back, will take him with him as soon as he wants to relocate. Uh, and that'll get him back into the fight as soon as he wants. Now we have top and bottom falling. In comes, bear is going to fall down, and it's on cooldown. It's on a really long cooldown. And that bear is completely out now for quite a while. Oh, no, wait, it did not get killed. Who got killed? Oh, man. Wisp heading back. CK still here. Does not have ult. There's the GG by Pain Gaming by Pata. Uh, everybody saying a GG. Starting to disconnect. And with that, the huge, huge farm by Owie. Let's just one last second. I want to see these 
Not current gold, but net worth. Almost 20,000. There we go. 20,000 by Owie. Just twice that of the Lone Druid being really, really hard. Pain Gaming having almost an impossible time to go back. Actually, by a courier, I have never seen a second courier bot in uh, in a pro game. Usually, I only see that in pubs where they know they're going to die, so just spend all their money. But that's it. Wondering if Owie can throw it before it auto automatically explodes. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't have alt. Uh, is off a of cooldown. If he had it, uh, if he had cast it earlier, he would have been able to. But it doesn't look like they're even gonna try. Just waiting, and there it goes. So thank you everyone for watching. This has been Briefcase, bringing you. I believe it was this March 11th. I think this is March 11th in the Premier League. So game number two is coming right up. So don't go anywhere. Uh, other than the next, other than the next YouTube video. Yeah, go there. All right, see ya.